Hello world, welcome back to the world of make-believe. I have here a pretzel. It's made out of fine silver. I'm gonna redo this in gold. This was a prototype that I made for someone to show them that I could make them a pretzel. I can make a pretzel uh, out of wire. It turns out not that hard. I did not use solder on this. I fused these joints with uh, silver dust. There's only two joints, one here and one on the other side. I did not join the pretzely bit. I don't think the little legs are going anywhere, so there's my design. And now it's a necklace, because I put a necklace through it. And that's called art. So let's make one out of gold. Ah, uh, there's some gold. Alright, I found some gold. This is probably too much. I have been asked to use a very specific amount of gold, so that this can be a very specific price. So here we go, this is 5.46 grams of gold. That's actually exactly what I want, so, wow, that worked out freakily well. How did I know that? I don't know if I did know that. So, I need 5 grams of gold, so this is just a little bit over, which is perfect, because I'll be snipping off the tails here anyway. Wow, uh, I made this in a previous video, so you can go watch that to learn how I did that. It's not that exciting. So this is really going to be a short video, I guess. Here is my gold dust. This is from when I cut the gold. You know, it makes dust, and then I collect it, and then I'll use that for fusing. I only do 24 karat gold stuff so far, uh, and therefore this is 24 karat gold dust. So I'm just going to bend this up into a pretzel. We're going to try, and if I mess up, I'm just going to melt it all back down. How about that? Man, that's what you call commitment. So first thing I'm going to do, oh, this is actually already annealed, I bent that. Uh, I'm going to anneal it just a little bit more, because I don't trust this. I'm going to want this to be dead soft so I can bend it up basically by hand. First things first, I'm just going to try to get a pretzel shape. I guess that's the first part of a pretzel shape. If I just hold this, I'm going to give it a good twist up here. And then you bend it down. Does that look like a pretzel? Oh, not when you drop it on the ground. It kind of looks like a pretzel. Well, we're going to kneel it again because I've already done quite a bit. I'm really trying to make sure that everything is unstressed when I move it. This is loosey-goosey here. There we go. Wow. This is the easiest thing I've ever made. See, now I've got the shape of a pretzel, but I'm gonna hammer it so that it smooshes a little bit. Yeah, that's, that's good, that's perfect. See, this one, this one goes up and that one's kind of round and fat. I gotta smoosh the tails down. I'm gonna do that on the anvil with a ball peen hammer. There she is. And if you can see, good, and if you can't see, whatever, sorry. So, you know, what this is going to allow me to do is these are much closer together now and I will be able to fuse them because they're basically already kissing. So that's good. I'm not going to do any more shaping work yet. This is going to be too delicate until I fuse it. So now it's time to fuse it. I'm going to grab some dust and we're going to put it right in the joints and I have the bad side up. Right, so the front side is down and I'm just going to put some dust here and then we're gonna hit it with some fire. I'm gonna watch it fuse. And then after it fuses, I'm gonna say, yay, verily. So I'm gonna waste some gold dust here because there's no way I can make this perfectly perfect. Get back up there, dusty dust. All right, some gold flavored Dorito dust. And notice I'm not using any flux or anything. Hopefully, the only thing that melts is the joint. So it's gonna start sweating. There we go, actually really good. Yes, let's do it, come on. All right, I think half of it fused this right portion. So I'm just gonna keep going. There we go, that looks better. So you can see it kinda looks wet, it's kinda cool. So this is super hot, and I'm gonna go to crunch it. We see there's some dust left behind, of course. There it is. So let's see how we did here. Yep. Oh, other than having gold all over my fingers now. Yeah. Get back in the jar. I mean, that's all fusing is. It's just you, you put a little excess in and you let it melt into each other. I'm going to cut over this white piece of paper here. 
So this is the gold dust I'll use for the next time. Gold is funny because it flakes off in these huge little nuggets. Way bigger than when, when you cut silver. Uh, so that looks good. I'm gonna save on them college funds. There it is. The Dorito dust of your dreams. What we got? 5.1 grams. That's pretty much spec. So now that the hard part's done, I'm gonna give it a hammered look and I'm gonna shape it a little bit. A little bit more better. I'm gonna use this bezel mandrel. Force the shape symmetry here. Kind of make these babies a little rounder. There we go. Actually, that looks pretty good pretzely. Pretty pretzely to me. I uh, noticed that the joints didn't pull out when I did that. That's good. That would have said that I did a bad fuse, and I didn't, because I'm good. I have a very limited skill set, but I am good at fusing gold and silver. Now I've got basically the rough shape I want. Sweet little twist. Now I'm going to hammer this out into a nice hammered look. Uh, honestly, I like the chunkier wire here. I like the twist on that one, too. This is, this is actually better. That's why you make prototypes, kids. Always prototype with cheap materials. Never prototype in gold. Gosh. Who's got money like that? Not me. We'll bring you back down to the anvil, friends. We're back. So all I'm gonna do here is use the ball peen to give it a little hammered look. And I'm not gonna bring you any closer because it's dangerous down there. The, the, the hammer is, is dangerous. If I had a smaller ball peen hammer, I would use it. This is great. I'm glad I did all the hard work before. Can you see? I hope so. And this is going to work hard in it as well. And because it's so chunky, even though it's 24 karat, this little work hardening here is going to do a really, really good job of making this non-squishable. It's already rock solid. It's not going anywhere. But as soon as it came off of the uh, the fuse, it was it was floppy. The floppiness is all gone. Yeah, I'm loving this. This is. This is really cute. These little tails down here are a little sharp, so I'm going to file those off. This is the back side with the fuse joint. So let's take some pictures and see what our client thinks. I think he'll be really happy, actually. So I just filed this down on the edges here. These guys were cut you sharp. They're not cut you sharp anymore. Yeah, so this should be good. Well, I assume for you it's been very little time, but for me it's been a whole day. Uh, I talked to the customer in question and we're going forward. I have been requested to mark this bad boy with a purity mark. So I'm going with 999. Even though this is four nines, we're gonna have to just get away with three. The the fourth nine isn't that important. The fourth nine is just pedantic. <laughs> I just looked up pedantic. It means of or like a pendant. This is a pendant. Oh my gosh, the fourth nine is pedantic, and so is this. Wow, I've learned something today that I didn't expect to learn. All right, so let's mark this bad boy. So to mark it, we're gonna put it on the woody bits here because it won't mess with the hammered texture on the other side. A good old love tap. See how we did. Oh, that was bad. So uh, that definitely worked the first try, and uh, I suck at marking. How about that? Well, I guess uh, if you squint, it says 999. How about that? If you don't see it, it's probably uh, it's probably your fault. Definitely not my fault. So now I'm going to burnish this up on the front to make everything uh, nice and shinier. And we're going to bring some of the, the texture the texture is going to be more pronounced because the high parts of the texture are about to get really shiny and the low parts won't so it actually adds a really cool effect it's like the mountain ridges become shiny with snow and the valleys below kind of stay this weird pure buttery dull it's also work hardening the surface it is what we want that's what I want I don't, I don't know what you want Yeah. <laughs> kind of looks more like a real pretzel now. That's very pretty now that it's a little shinier. But it's it's not shiny everywhere. I like that a lot. So that's how it looks. 
on a single. This is how I would wear it as a on a wrapped around the double. I actually might wear it like this because it it shows the twist off in, instead of hiding the twist. That's actually pretty cool. It's nice and heavy, which is kind of fun. <laughs>